टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एन एयर सर्क्यूट ब्रेकर इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस देर इज एन एयर सर्क्यूट ब्रेकर हुई जी जे स्प्रिंग चार्ज एम डी ओ एम डी ओ मीन्स मेकानिकल ड्रा आउट ओके सो वील डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑपरेशनल प्रिंसिपल हाउ डज इट वर्क एंड वील डिस्कस अबाउट देर ई टी यू दैट मीन्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्ट्रिपिंग यूनिट एंड हाउ अवर ब्रेकर डज वर्क इन लाइव वेल सो दिस इज द फ्रंट व्यू ऑफ द ब्रेकर यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज अवर क्लोज मीन्स ऑन पुश बटन दिस इज ऑन पुश बटन दैट मीन्स ओपन ऑफ पुश बटन ओके सो दिस इज द डिस्चार्ज इंडिकेटर सो यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज द यू नो यू कैन गेट टू नो द टेक्निकल स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑफ द ब्रेकर दिस इज द ऑपरेशनल हाउ यू कैन रैक इन एंड रैक आउट द ब्रेकर एंड दिस इज द काउंटर रीडिंग दिस इज द लिवर यू कैन चार्ज द ब्रेकर स्प्रिंग that means to on and off the breaker uh, these are the indications so you can get to know if your breaker is on or off you can from here you will get to know if your breaker is ready to on or not you can get to know here the discharge or charge of the breaker then he, this is the lever uh, to rack in and rack out the breaker i will show you later how we can rack in and rack out the breaker by this lever and this is the indicator you will get to know if your breaker is connected disconnected and test okay so this you know there is a white mark you can see here that one will move from disconnect to connect once you will start the racking well so this is our etu that means uh, electronic stripping unit here l s i g indicator are there so they are uh, the long time short time instant and ground fault current protection you will get in the breaker uh, you can set here the long time means overload short circuit instantian short circuit and ground fault as per your requirement well so now uh, we will discuss about uh, uh, the internal mechanism okay so you can see here there are six terminal you can see okay you can see here okay so these three will be connected incoming side and these three will be connected in outgoing side okay so now just uh, uh, we'll uh, discuss about the internal mechanism okay uh well so our breaker is off now here you can see it is open that means off and the breaker is discharged now if i will go to close that means on and off the breaker okay so i cannot why because my charge my spring is completely discharged unless you have charged the breaker charged the spring you cannot operate the breaker see now i am trying to switch it and switch up but it is not functioning so if you want to close the breaker you have to charge the lever okay so how you can i will get to know if it is charged or not as i told you there is an indicator you have to check and this lever you have to move from up to down to charge the breaker okay so let's start so see now i cannot now i am going to charge it okay so there is nothing uh, any basic that uh, how much time you need to do you need to check the indicator as well as it will be now it is little bit of hard so once it is fully charged it will be very soft okay see now i can easily move okay as well as you can see here the spring charged indicator became charged now i am going to operate the breaker see now the breaker is open condition okay so okay okay so it is now see the breaker is closed okay so how you will get to know that it is connected properly okay so actually it is not practically possible to check so we have actually this is a dismantled breaker so we'll check in the in the terminal this is the multimeter i'll put in continuity so just this is for practical uses but uh, you can see okay so see there is continuity so from incoming to outgoing there is continuity right so there is continuity that means our breaker is connected later i will show you how it is internally working okay so there is continuity you can see okay so now i am going to close the breaker okay open the breaker see there is no continuity that means our breaker is disconnected i'll show you later internally how it is working well so we'll start to move the move the front panel of the breaker uh, just to, by screw driver i have to lose it okay so very slowly you can just pull towards you okay yes finally 
this is the internal mechanism of the breaker in front of you okay so how it is working so well so now our breaker is discharged so once i have started charging okay the spring will take the tension this mechanism will come out okay and uh, these are uh, these are the sound coil okay so which is operated by 230 voltage i will show you that's why i have disconnected this cable just for for uh, practically how we can check the sound trip coil this is operated by 230 voltage okay so if you want to operate the breaker by external on and off push button and if you have you have to give more protection like earth fault protection under voltage protection then you have to connect this sound trip coil because this is the only one you can operate your breaker well this is the sliding uh, connector okay so now we are going to open the arc chamber okay so by uh, help of allen key you can open it so i am starting to open okay just you have to open uh, you have to remove this screw otherwise you cannot remove okay so finally we have removed the screw and just we have to yes so this is our arc chamber you can see this is the arc chamber okay so now you can see here okay so this is you can see this is the both connect will uh, connector will be connected each other this will be permanent this will not move and this is the uh, uh, connector latching connector will be moved now our breaker is off you can see see there is a gap that means our breaker is off now i am going to uh, switch on the breaker just see how it is closing very fast okay so by charging because without charging i cannot i cannot uh, uh, operate the breaker so i am i have to charge okay so just see here okay see here how it is closing very fastly okay now i am going to okay see see okay so that is permanent fixed that this one is moving okay so again see how it is working just i have to see okay so it's moving very fast okay so that that is how our breaker connected and disconnected okay now i will tell you the controlling wiring okay so these are the sound trip coil okay sound coil okay so which is operated by 230 voltage you can see clearly here okay so this is the coil magnetic coil okay so it's need it need 230 voltage to operate okay so now how we can control the breaker so these are some controlling cables some of our nc some of our no i will tell you later but now we will understand what is the working of sound trip coil okay see now uh, my breaker is uh, discharged let me charge it okay so once it is fully charged just watch here our breaker is completely disconnected okay now now i will push c because this is the magnetic conductor later i will show you how we can connect through uh, have uh, uh, control through the electric supply see when i am pushing it here this okay see okay it is it is completely connected now i am pushing when i am pushing this sound trip coil okay it is open okay so that is i have done manually now i will provide 220 voltage power supply now see this is the 220 voltage power supply you can connect here i have disconnected it for practical purposes okay so now i will provide electric supply okay to this breaker okay so i have to charge uh, without charging i cannot do anything okay so now i am going to provide single phase power just for testing purposes see this this is connected by the connector okay okay so now i am uh, i will insert in clock top okay then see how it is moving how it is moving you can see see okay now see it is latching on on off off curve okay see okay so once it is off it is on okay off okay now okay so my breaker is you can see it is disconnected okay so i will uh, uh, i will uh, switch it on because you know there is another sound trip coil for switching on the breaker but just for testing purposes 
I have provided 220 voltage power supply here. Okay, well, so now I will on it. Okay, okay, so it's on. Okay, so now I will provide 230 voltage power supply to this on trip coil. You can see here. Okay, so now we will provide the power supply by switching on the. Can you switch on, please? Okay. We have provided the power supply. What happened here? Okay, the breaker is completely disconnected. Okay, so that means, see, this is the provided power supply. Now our breaker is connected. Can you switch it on? Okay, switch so on. Okay, so this that is how our sound trip coil, uh, sound coil uh, work. Okay, so it's it need 230 volt power supply. It will provide the power supply. It will switch on the breaker. If you will disconnect the power supply, then it will switch on the breaker. Okay, so that is how our internal mechanism of air circuit breaker. And uh, I hope you understood what we discussed. Okay, so uh, regarding this ETU, how you can calculate the ETU, I have already made a video on it and it's available in uh, uh, my channel. So you can see it. I will provide you the link in, uh, link in the details. Thank you very much for your time.